So over the weekend, our eyed eggs actually hatched into the next stage of our rainbow trout life cycle, the sack fry stage. So let's come over here and take a look at these guys. So at this point, we're still going to have our trout in our egg baskets. And remember, with these egg baskets, we're trying to simulate in nature what's known as a trout red. So you can see why they get the name sack fry. You can clearly see the yolk sack that's nearly, I would say, approximately 60 to 70 percent of the trout's body mass. So they're going to utilize the yolk sack at this stage for nutrition. You can see now they are able to swim and sort of wiggle around, but they can't do it with purpose. So at this stage, they can't actually feed for themselves. So when you have your trout in the classroom in the aquarium, it's, from, it's important to remember that you're not going to feed them at this point because that's just going to source more ammonia into your closed system. Also, what I did when I came in in the morning is remove all of the eggshells that I could see within the egg basket because that's also going to source ammonia to your aquarium. Even though we already have a well-established bacterial colony in this aquarium to help us through that nitrogen cycle, I'm still gonna to wanna to try to remove as much of that stuff as I possibly can just to create the healthiest environment we can for this trout. So another thing to remember is that these sac fry in nature, even though they are able to swim around and move right now, they are extremely vulnerable to environmental disturbances such as sedimentation. When sedimentation clogs up a trout red, it can still essentially choke out these trout and provide an environment that they do not like and it can be detrimental to trout populations, especially within the state of Pennsylvania. So I'm gonna replace the cover on our PIC aquarium because keeping that dark is still going to help aid in the development of this trout. 